Hey there, and welcome back to Off the Rails, an educational monster train series where we explore content mods for the game to shake things up. We're getting close here to the end of our cycle, which is pretty exciting. If you're not really following along with what I'm doing, I am playing the unofficial balance patch, which is something I maintain. Uh, interest in these videos has waned a little bit from the crowd watching. It's kind of nice. I, I mean, I enjoy playing it, but I can gather that I'm going to try some other different stuff. I've mentioned it a few times. I've gotten some questions following up about what I'm going to do. I will be migrating to a 200 shard series is my thought process. We're going to see how that goes. I might still keep the modded series going in at like a one time a week possible thing where I do the the full clan mod. Basically, you play Hellhorned, Hellhorned both ways, and then you play Awoken, Awoken both ways, etc, etc. So we'll see. Uh, I am I'm interested in how the eventual... 200 shard runs perform, but more importantly, I think I'm going to, you know, if we've talked about this a few times, I'm not going to belabor the point. I genuinely believe that I will lose a fair number of times and that the episodes may be tough, but I'm hopeful that I can figure it out because it's kind of a new meta for me to approach in this game. So I do think that's good. Some folks have also suggested I try to go for score. I'm going to be real. I think score is tracked very stupidly in this game and I think that it's a bad thing to chase uh, it doesn't reward play in a manner that I think is good or honestly fun right I mean it's it rewards you for doing weird stuff at low covenants and trying to like game things and it just feels cheesy all around it's tough because a game like Slay the Spire does the score pretty intelligently. I think you just perfect every combat and then otherwise you just do a good job and do some small gimmicky things here and there and you're pretty square whereas here it's you're doing really bizarre stuff like trying to play bottom floor and just a lot of weird stuff got to get those pre-relentless kills it just it rewards you for doing weird stuff I'm not a big fan but yeah we shall continue we're only about three runs out before I switch things up our previous run was with soul guard right here we're on a five win streak. We had the really good times last time around with a Mollusk Mage shotgun. I put Mollusk Mages and Fusion into Keeper of Echoes with Titan Channel up front. And we ultimately got Totem Fragment in order to kind of carry us, give us some more extra oomph. And we just lit up floors. It was real good. Our starter pings were really strong. And our foreground powers, which do damage in the mod... Uh, one damage, but it's enough because it benefits from magic power. Uh, they gained a lot of value here, and this was an excellent run. So, pretty excited about that one. We're moving forward to Primordium. Uh, we are on the final three here. Like I said, Primordium, Fade, and Echo Right, and then we'll change it up a little bit, see how things go. But, yeah, I think that's all I've got for you here. Hopefully you're all doing excellent. Uh, I'm doing just fine. And, yeah, as always, do like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will go ahead and play some Primo. Covenant 25. I already checked. The mod is on. Absolutely. Let's go. Oh, boy. This already looks juicy. Love to see it. Hope you're all doing well today. I'm doing just fine. I have my second coffee of the night. Uh, granted, it's actually not that late. I'm recording this at 1220. So that's pretty early for me. Uh, with any luck, I can get two episodes tonight. And that would be excellent news. I, I'm really falling behind on my backlog. I need to work on this. I think I have oof, not enough, not enough prepared. I need to be doing some doubles every night pretty much for a good while to catch back up on this. Uh, but that's just fine. I'm happy to do it. So We'll persevere. We are today Exile Umbra with default Hellhorned, which is just peachy. We love this start. You have a good ping. Plink is really good in the mod because it prioritizes different units, which means statistically you're pretty likely to hit those back lines. We are against Pushback Talos, Curse Fell, and Patient Seraph with Making of a Morsel, Fledgling Imp, and Prism Retrieval. All fine cards. These are all fine cards. Fledgling Imp is great. It's immediate direction. You'd love to have it. Uh, Making of a Morsel gives us some flexibility in our approach. Our starter cards are good. 
And Prism Retrieval, it fishes an imp at worst, eventually, which is basically just a free draw. So, yeah. And this is also a decent clan combo to deal with Patient. You'll have a lot of days, but you also have access to Damage Shield. So I love seeing that. All right, let's look at our map before we click anything. We have Money on Ring 2, excellent. We have Port on Ring 1, not excellent, though I am uniquely prepared to handle this, I think, with all of the pings. Let's see, Steel Shop has an Umber Banner on Ring 2, but we do have a Hellhorn Banner if I want to go to the Magic Shop. Another Umber Banner on Ring 3, no, no early game temples, worth noting. Double hordes and money is very spooky. Not a big fan of that. It means we don't get a big power jump early into pushback Talos. So we'll see about that. I think we can just freely muscle through it with an Umber unit, but I don't know if I'm going to want to do that. We'll think about it. Uh, Steel Shop on four. Removal dupe on the opposite side with another Hellhorn banner on four. It's actually really good if I can take advantage of it. Temples starting on ring four on temple on four, five, six, seven, and eight. Wow. All temples all the way down once we get out of the mid-game. Uh, into the mid-game, rather. So that's good. Let's see. A really bad ring 5. Yeah, no removals on ring 5. We have a magic shop with nothing crazy good. It's kind of lame, but it's fine. You can't win them all. Uh, steel shop with a vortex on 6 is good. The other side is just a magic shop with some garbage. No biggie. Another removal dupe on 7. So I actually think this is a pretty solid pathing, right? Because you can... Let's see, where are my steel shops? What am I doing? We start with the steel shop early, and then you have to take bad steel shops in the mid game. And then when you take these steel shops, you give up on your removal dupes. So this is going to be tricky. I think we definitely want to hit up the ring two steel shop. And with any luck, we have a fully upgraded unit there. Uh, that gives us a lot of strength, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. You can always take late game dupes. Another removal dupe on eight, actually. So three removal dupes in this run, which is actually wild. And the eight one is really well positioned because you get a merchant of steel with it. So, okay, I can work with that. I can work with that. Sketches. Look, I know this is the sketches clan combo, right? You can get consumer, you can get shadow siege, fine. What I'm going to click instead is Winged Steel, because this just is a significantly better relic. It is a draw relic. It will be annoying early, but it means I could take Ember instead of draw at one of these, and we just feel good about it. So, happy to grab it. Superfood or Aggressive? Now, Superfood is really cool in the mod, because you don't have to pivot into Stalwart. The difference is that you don't get the plus 10 HP early, right? So you're relying entirely on the one damage shield it starts with. But it does give you buff A4. We have fledgling imps in our start. I'm going to go superfood. I don't think I've actually played this on the channel in the mod before. So let's try it. That seems fun. And I think that is super capable of taking this horde. So I will grab it. Interesting. Cheater's Hand, Unbroken Horn, and Golden Vault. It's too early for the vault. I don't want it. We'll leak. It's not good. Horn is potentially nice. But I do have a lot of X cost, or at least N X cost. And I anticipate seeing more. Cheater's Hand is maybe all right. I can kick back an imp for a little bit. I do like Cheater's Hand in general. Can I do anything cheeky with the horn? The answer is maybe. I mean, maybe. This is the clan combo that has Pyre Chomper. Obviously, I mean, this is a Hellhorned Relic, so that's totally obvious. I think I'm going to grab the Horn here. I know, I might... Mentally, I think I probably should take Cheater's Hand because it's such a flexible Relic. But at the same time, I can anticipate doing some weird things with Ember Drain here, potentially. That is a fair point, actually. If I take Ember Drain, I basically give up on it. But Ember Drain's kind of weird in the mod because you don't see perils early. Let's try the Horn. I think this is a good take. Both of these are very solid here. That at least gives me some value now. So I can blast a little bit when I need to. So we should be okay. Aggressive amulet. I mean, this thing, if, if one of these upgrader dudes walks on me, I'm going to take a million damage, but we answer it pretty well, so I'm okay with it. Right? So, I mean, it's making... Play it first so we don't accidentally spread this Ember Drain. 
Oh, but we get a train steward out of it, which is exceptional news. I'll take the ping first. Great job. Cool. So we're going to plink once. Excellent. I wish to fledgling imp upstairs for sure. Value. That is good because it spreads everything here. And I will put Antumbra Morsel and take the Train Steward on middle for a good bop. Fine. Cool, and we're fine here. We do ping, ping, got it. Good job. Go team. We do one plank downstairs and we're chilling. Seems good to me. Cool. All right, we get through this. We have enough damage shield. We're strong. No problem. We're doing really good damage on middle floor, too. I mean, he's doing 73 here. So, again, like, we're super fine. Yeah, and dead. Good job. Cool. Well played. Answered that. No problem. We click the Imprismal Dust here every time. It is patient. We need to respect it. It's very good in the Primordium. Worth noting, this Primordium is also very good in the Patient on its own. That's great news. I'm less inclined to the Immortal trade here because of the Unbroken Horn, so that's fine. I already have Rage. I do already have Rage. I'm going to grab Hornbreak because this card is really good. I don't want this Ritual necessarily. It's expensive. It's... I mean, it is good to have this, right? I'm always going to this Steel Shop. Maybe I go to this Merchant of Magic, though. Maybe. Take minus one, minus one there. I should grab the Ritual. Yeah, I will. What do we get? Rail Beater, Crucible Warden, Demon Fiend. Demon Fiend is playable. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, let's see. Anything fancy here? Rail Beater's kind of nice. I do like having space for the Imp right out of the gate. And Rail Beater's a solid pick. It is very multi-strike dependent, but truly, I think all of these are. Crucible Warden might be good. Right? He gains plus one when he eats something. Is that strong enough or fast enough? I mean, Rage is going to outscale it very quickly, is the thing. It's a very strong take early, though. You know, man, this is tough. We're, we're experimental. Let's try Crucible Warden as the carry here. This is not something I would do in the base game. It would always be Railbeater here, but I want to see if this plus one helps put this thing over the edge because I have been thinking, and this might need to go to plus two, but we'll never know if we don't try it. So we go left. We have the money in the middle. I'll re-roll, of course. Large stone, we don't want that. Umber Banner says Shadow Siege. Look, I know I skipped sketches shadow siege don't talk to me about it what if i just put shadow siege into crucible warden here i know it's ember drain too but what if it's a plus 60 plus 60 plus one let's do it that is an excellent infusion right that's like 10 turns of morsel maker so then i do not need the plus 25 we'll re-roll it <laughs> Quick. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna take the money anyway. No endless, no multi strike. Bad shop. Okay, so we miss it on ring four. We're not going to this removal dupe. I need to see the steel shops. It's fine. We'll be fine into this for now. Not worried about it terribly. I don't need this unit draft, do I? It also is really bad because it's armor. Yeah, don't click this. This is really rough. Yeah, yeah, for sure. This is really rough even without the stupid <laughs> the stupid trial, right? Look at this. The upgraded conduit and an upgraded clergyman. That's terrifying. We're going to do Warden first. We're going to put down Primordium. Yep. And I'm going to play the Imp. Oh my god, my mouse is letting go of cards. We can't let that happen. Right? Like, I drag... Right? Is it doing it? Weird. I don't know. I guess it's not that bad. 
Maybe I am just doing it wrong. Put the, you put the train through the middle, of course, here. But, yeah. All right, yeah, we plink us here. Really good plink hits. We're going to shoot our own imp, which is super correct. And I'm going to take a morsel in the back, the one that does damage, because it kills the little dude. Great job. Go team. Save our money, or everything else, I mean. Cool. Great job. We do one plank. Bonk, bonk. We do fledgling imp. And we shoot the imp. And we feed a morsel. And we take one prismal dust here, because you may as well. Good job. Yeah, we win. Cool. Seems good. All right, I don't need to click cards. We already went up top. It's fine. I guess I will feed him a morsel because that seems good. But we're going to skip cards because we're super winning. Our man does a million damage. Yeah, he's fine. Let's go. All right, cool. Well played. I definitely think it was correct to skip that trial. Ember Cash. Am I going to grab this? It's actually pretty good here with that five AOE damage packed on. That said, and Tumber Assault's pretty decent as a ping since I skipped Hornbreak. Yeah, we grab and Tumber Assault. It's a really good card here. It's a ping, it's morsels, we're good with it. Am I going to click Fortify? No. I don't think that helps Crucible Warden at all. Important work is calling a shot, though. I don't love it. Uh, it's tough. This is too early for important work, isn't it? I think so. Ah, I think I should grab it, though. It's a really good card for what I'm hoping to do here. I'm going to take it. It's calling a shot, but I think that with the numbers we were seeing there, I feel strong enough. Uh, we also have the infusion we already want to use, so I'm okay skipping the Umber banner here. We're going to go to the magic shop. Main reason is I would like to minus one, minus one the ritual in case I am shown an X5. Plus 10. Nah, it's fine. Remove consume. No, it's fine. Hold over. Important work. Man, that is a really called shot, isn't it? That is such a called shot. 75 gold here on ring four means I'm going to 255 plus, I think it's 75 from Talos. So we'll have enough cash. We will have enough cash. Am I going to hold over, say, Antumbra Assault here? It's pretty decent, genuinely. I think it's actually, it's got to be important work. Oh, but this is such a called shot on Endless. It is. We are seeing a bunch of steel shops coming up, though. I think we do this. I don't really need any of this stuff now. I'm going to 20 consume a plink, by the way. And we're going to chill. I'm going to grab the horde. Oh, we take Temper Talisman. Look at this. Gauge plus sketches on my run with Shadow Siege. Ridiculous. I'll take the Temper Talisman. Makes my plinks, makes my everything else better, which I'm good with. Five damage torches. Yeah, sure. It's a good number. Eight damage in Tumber Assault. Plink's doing fours. Makes them actually useful into the late game, unbelievably. And then we see what the caverns give us. Yo, look at this. Copy a card five times. Look, there's a reason I do this, right? I always tell you, if you have something you can reasonably upgrade to a good state in time for a possible X5, you should do that. Yeah, that is a really strong set of cards. In this universe, you don't even need the imps anymore. Wow. All right, well, we're very powerful now. Let's move. Huh. I mean, I'll still hold on to Imp because Imp can chump block and Imp is very strong otherwise. And it does improve my collection, my options at the upcoming steel shops, right? So it's not just multi-strike. It's also endless, which I appreciate. So this is an easy turn, right? You do Warden. See, look at that. It was actually, it like dropped my card. What was that? So if I play Primordium in the back now and I hover this, this, yeah, it drops it. What is that? Is that my mouse? 
That's tricky. I am going to take this Prismal, Prism Retrieval now. Yeah, because you hit the Imp right now and it goes absolutely mad with power. Yeah, that's huge. Cool, we're strong. I will shoot the Imp. I will take a making of a morsel here. I think it's better than the one Prismal Dust. Is it? No, I need to put the one Prismal Dust down, actually, because he gets pushed to the front here. Yeah, I could have tanked that with a Morsel, but Plank, good hit. Then you put the Morsel in front. Great job. We Ritual here. The a single torch, I think, changes this, right? Yeah, it does. Good job. Go team. I'm, I'm happy giving up this morsel because it means I get more value. Ooh, spooksy. You put the imp in front, which saves Primordium and kills two units. Not many ways I can get around this, huh? Yeah, not many ways I can do it. Yeah, it's fine. We take the five. It's okay. It is okay. All right, we're very strong right now. But I only hit once, so we're going to work on these backliners, I think. Cool. Ritual, ritual. I'm already strong enough. What if I just save the damage and I do double rituals on this morsel? And we save a good chunk. We come close to one-shotting that thing. Right, because this is the only thing I'm really scared of, is just getting beat to hell. Now, like, here, he's just going to punch the hell out of me, but I need to not incant him, and I think that is important. Now, is this incorrect? He has, what, 80 right now? So he hits me four times? He's doing 20 to me. This man claps. Now... I can't, okay, so if I put the ritual in the back, he hits three times for seven, which is 21, which is not good enough. So we're gonna then plink here instead. And we'll just take our damage and be happy about it. That sucks a lot. The fact that he got upgraded is unfortunate. Obviously we win the combat here, but fine. That is a shame. It's a lot of damage, but, you know, fair enough. We're good. Okay, so we get through the combat. We eat an unfortunate amount, but I'm also okay because we took that pyre remains. I need multiple hits. We're gonna, so we grab furnace tap. Well, and immediately you see the downside of unbroken horn, right? Oh, but wretch. Now, the problem is, Furnace Tap does mean I give up on playing cards. We don't have a good answer to this right now. I could freeze it. Alternatively, I do think Wretch is just really good with Primordium, especially this one. Oh, this is tough. I should probably click Furnace Tap. I am seeing a lot of Merchants of Steel, though, because I, I need to, so... What leans me away from Vernus Tap here is the Unbroken Horn coupled with the cost of my spells that are not being ever reduced to zero. And then you also have the Fledgling Imps that are basically just always one costers. It's really hard to take this Ember Drain here. So we're going to grab the Wretch instead. Horned Warrior. Is that better? Is that better than Crucible Warden? I mean, because what you really do here is you put Shadow Siege into Horned Warrior and you have a better Crucible Warden, right? Yeah, why don't we do that? Look, I told you, I know I told you, oh, I want to try Crucible Warden, but we haven't hit anything yet and we might not. And if I do it this way, we're guaranteed to have one multi-strike, which is enough that answers a large portion of the run on its own. So we will pivot. Yeah, all right, Horned Warrior, let's go. And I'm grabbing Ember for Curse Fell, coupled with the Winged Steel and Unbroken Horn. One-two punch here. This is going to let me play a lot more cards. 
go to the steel shop for sure for sure we get some pyre remains back large stone feels bad we are going to do the infusion here for sure which is shadow siege into horned warrior look it's just good business sorry crucible warden you don't do plus 60 attack look at this 150 80 come on man absolutely we do this now spell chain on that important work it's a little bit too much of a called shot i think we're gonna need to re-roll the this shop here yeah again with the quick oh if it's quick large stone all the way i'm gonna be so mad so now we're immediately rewarded by taking the horned warrior right because the hell is this i guess you grab the quick on him because he's got the hp right and he already hits twice so you might as well it's something fine 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 the upgrade here so like look you don't have to do anything with stalwart snack i don't need this unless i want it now superfood 2 is a lot of damage shield which i appreciate stalwart snack makes him tiny which i don't think matters it gives him some hp but i think the damage shield is just going to be stronger here so we're going to maybe do a full superfood run which i like a lot tenon piercing i could have had a holdover tenon piercing and tumbra assault on this run but it's fine there's no way i'm spell chaining that look look i know what you're thinking there's no way. We don't have the endless. I'm not going to 80 shards. I can take a heaven seal now that I have a multi strike, right? Absolutely. It's not conduit, so we're always guaranteed to see our unit on time. Yeah, that's all right. That is all right. Cool. So this is a good turn one, huh? I would like to spread out. The Ember Drain, so it burns out twice as quick. And then you Ritual here, and we just save our stuff, I suppose. Because we're losing... Oh, I didn't actually spread it out, did I? I did botch that. I wanted to put Primordium down first. But then, that wouldn't have... No, that would... No, no, no. I'm, I did it correctly, because Primordium passes on the Ember Drain. Right. So this is three turns of big dam big reduction versus even worse... I'm not going to play these units. I'd like to save some Ember for future turns. Wow, nothing that addresses this Collector. What a shame. Also, I now suddenly need space if I want to play that... That... What is it? Imp line? Which is fine. I think I would still. I'm going to play into Winged Steel here just because it could be a torch or a plink you know it let go on its own i'm not happy about it fine we're gonna plink up here i don't want to lose this i'm gonna definitely ritual plink save that play this see what we draw into it's fine oh yeah we're quick actually never mind we're we're chilling insta sh insta killing everything seems okay to me cool i know i skipped the winged steel draw it's fine it is fine i'll take my three damage shield thank you may as well cool he's just gonna bonk everything to death which is great news we do the wretch here we take back Primordium. We give him Ritual. Ritual. Combat's over. Cool. Let's see. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Take a curse for it, but I don't really care. I was aiming for something that did something to this back dude, but again, it does not matter. We just give him the double bonk and we win. So it's fine. Oh god, rationing scales? I mean, it's 25 gold. I would rather keep my pyre health on this run, so we skip that. Emberforge, prism retrieval, cannibalize. Nope. Transcend him. Now. Transcend him. 
you could do transcend imp infuse with fledgling imp or or you know this dude is actually just endless right you click transcend it 10 times out of 10 here yeah buddy yeah that's fine what do i want magic shop maybe i have no money so the trinket shop is pointless we'll go to the magic shop i suppose it's fine sure show what's in the horde resonant shard that seems good Mask of Penumbra? It's another draw relic, but I'm not leaning morsels basically at all. I'll take the Resonant Shard. It's just really high power here. Look in this caverns. An Awoken Draft pick? You know, I snapped that, but there's a good reason for it. I snapped it because it could be a, the Adaptive Mutation hit with all this rage, but it's fine. Channel Song? Too much garbage in this deck to channel song here. We're going to skip this. It's fine. The other ones weren't any better. Magic Shop says 20 in consume is pretty decent. I need to be able to afford stuff at the steel shop. So I'm going to buy the surge stone on a plank, I suppose. It's a good one. And then we leave. I don't even buy a minus one here. Right, I don't. And we look in the temple real quick. Plus 30. We skip. Do I take the Endless now? I don't think I need to with Transcendent because we have so many temples coming up. So we're going to chill and move on from here. Yes. We're okay on Crystal Cloak. Spikes is maybe a bad idea, but I, I don't really need the Relic. I'm more interested in money, though. Interesting. I think the right choice here is to skip this. There's no reason to take this. I don't need a relic that badly. I mean, obviously an imp relic would be good. An ember relic is fine. Like there are a lot of good hits, but I don't need these is the trick. And the spikes eat my damage shield, which I think do genuinely matter in the crystal cloak here. So we're going to skip this. Yeah, we're, we're better off for this decision. I mean, what do you do? You just plink. And then you Primordium. And then what? Rubble Morsel middle. See what we draw. Cool. We Warden. And then we Ritual Primordium. And we chill. Play in this Shadow Siege friend. You play two Train Stewards hoping to hit a Torch. You miss the Torch. It's fine. I can't play this Morsel because it dies auto. I guess I could put it downstairs, but it's not worth it. It's a shame. Again, missing the collector. It's okay. You just play ritual, ritual. We ping something downstairs and it's over. We do enough damage here to overrun everything. Seems good to me. Big bonks. I don't even play any of these cards, right? I guess I link mid floor. You may as well. We can buy some turns on the mid floor here. Yeah, that's fine. I'll link out middle. I need to figure out that mouse problem I'm having. Dang, it's really annoying. Cool. Unfortunately, this is the wrong turn for Prismal Dust, but I do think it's good. I'm just gonna—we already win in one shot, so I'm just gonna put the five Prismal Dust in, and we win here for sure. We're good. Cool. We just skip cards. None of this matters. You're dead. Good job. We knew this would work. I have 11 damage shield, and we one shot the the boss, so we're chilling. Excavation Eruption, Cave-In, and Ember Forge. We've seen some of these already. Excavation Eruption gets value out of that plus three from a Tempered Talisman. Hits four times in the mod, but I don't I don't think it's that important. Cave-In is a daze, but we are already leaning damage shield pretty heavily, which addresses patient. I might take an intrinsic on that Prismal Dust if they show it to me, so I always guarantee answering patient. And Ember Forge is a bait here. We skip that for sure. Impish Scholar? What do I pull back? Prismal Dust? I've already put in a couple too many 20 in consumes here for me to want to grab this. 
Inflame is a bad take here. The Daze carries over from Primordium, so we skip this as well. I also value this money, so I can reroll this shop, hopefully. Because I didn't get the Collector for two combats straight. True enough. True enough. Good Merchant of Steel. Quick. Gross. We're going to reroll this and look. <laughs> Wow, quick large again. The video game hates me. We're cutting Crucible Warden finally. I'm going to start working on train stewards. I'm going to take the cavern here. Heartstone? Isn't it just Petrified Heart, though? I'm not healing at all, right? No, I'm not healing, and that plus 10 carries over with Primordium for quite a bit of value. Yeah, I didn't take Immortal Trade, right? Just verifying. Yeah, the plus 10 here is great news. We are 100% grabbing Petrified Heart. Good pickup. That's even better than the Overflow. Intrinsic on... Where are you? Prismal Dust. You'll love to see it. That is a perfect answer for my problems. I... Oh, am I going to take... No, I'm not going to take an infusion until I have the space to play an imp, right? True. So I might actually genuinely use Transcendence Infusion here. I missed the next removal dupe. I don't need it anyway. I have six of these rituals. I go to the Merchant of Steel. And we buy as many removals as we can get. And then we're definitely going removal dupe on ring eight. Yeah, we're going to chill on shards here. Move on at 75. I think we're fine here, right? How bad could this go? I have the Ember, the Unbroken Horn, to address these curses. Oh, yeah, getting the one curse on turn one really sucks here. I think we're just eating that, by the way. Shadow Siege. Interesting. I could play bottom floor, genuinely. I should actually, we have the right hits here and it saves a little bit of Ember Drain. So you go Horned Warrior, Primordium, Ritual on Primordium, and then we toss in two damage shield here, which should be more than sufficient. We ignore this penance, we just eat that. It sucks, but it's fine. Now we should clobber stuff. So we plink middle. Weight of Contrition. I guess we'll put the Rubble Morsel down and draw. It's fine. Good bonks. This is a lot of power immediately, which I really appreciate. Penance. Ritual. Fine. Yeah, that's okay. We do a Plink. It's cool. We're going to Ritual Ritual here. Cool, I am going to ping the back because it saves a damage shield. And I'll burn the Prism Retrieval at zero. I think that's fine. Okay, that's good. So we're in a good place here. We do the Bonk Bonk. We're killing. For sure in a good spot. Transcend Imp is pointless. I'm going to hopefully hit with Plank. Great news. Great news. I may as well take the making of a morsel here. There's no reason not to. I guess you could to save the ember, but the making of a morsel is worth the one, I think. Plink, hopefully we hit. I mean, we have to hit, actually. There's no way we don't. I may as well torch, see what we draw into. Eh, it's fine. Take the ember for next turn. And we chill. Just hopefully draw... Anything good, like Wretch is great hit here. You then play Primordium one more time. We take the Penance out. We Ritual here for sure. We're going to play some other random morsels for Ember here. Train sort of top. Sure, why not? May as well get rid of some of these cards. Yeah, cool. I think we're fine now. 17 damage shield seems okay. Good job. Yeah, we're, we're clobbering. Now, if I can find another multi-strike, I think we're really chilling. If I can't... Oh, I mean, we just see an Umberstone, though. We take that. Yeah, all right, cool. All right, we win. I do need to draw cards. 
I kind of don't care about the imps, but they're decent chump blockers. I could take this Light of Seraph, right? Take space, play imps with it. I think it's fine. I think you could go either way here. The imps are nice because of patient, though. I do have this damage shield. The imps kind of don't matter, right? We give up on imps. I give up on this important work that I put so much money into. This is why you don't call shots, though, right? You call a shot and then you see something else. Sometimes you take this gamble and you have to in order to win. Because what if I never saw Horned Warrior, right? We would be kind of itching for something. And important work, Imp might have been it. But it's not how we ended up, right? It's not. The space is not bad. I need draw. I have 34 cards in this deck. We're going to give up on Imps, I'm pretty sure. Just play Rituals and it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Sorry, Imps. Uh, you're all gone. We're still going to look for multi-strike. And I, like, like hell do I want another dupe. Good grief. Look at this large. I swear to God, if you're quick. Look. Quick large. Quick large. In every shop. Oh my God. I'm, oh yeah, I want to add three weather vengeful shards to my deck here. Totally. Hell no. Although, I mean, it's cute with Penitent Remains because you get, what, a whole bunch of free damage on Primordium? But let me be real with you here. I have all these Rage cards. We're, we're leaving. I guess I could take the Ember Stasis. No, I don't care. I have way too thick of a deck here. We're going all in on Superfood to get that lovely Buffet 6. Big gain. Love to see it. And purge. I'm gonna take a purge here because I have way too much crap in my deck. I'm gonna purge a plink. Because a five damage torch feels a little better at least. Yeah, cool. We'll take these purges whenever we can get them. I could reasonably do an infusion just to remove now too, but I don't know. My deck is bloated as hell. I don't care as much about Steel Shot. I mean, I still do, right? God, I, I do. I'm going to take a removal here on a Train Steward because I still have an obnoxious number of these in my run. And we're moving on. This run, it's strong, but our deck sucks. Heaven Seal. If I leak every curse dude to the pyre until i hit the umbra stone i think i'm fine with it there's no draw order where i miss all of my rituals all my rage cards no there's no way we took draw for this i think if i had taken space i might be in a really bad position here but the other advantage of course being that nothing spawns in front here right on turn one so it is Horned Warrior Friend. It is Primordium. And we will take the Prismal Dust. Cool. I will Plink Purge downstairs. Seems good. Let's go. Could have played that other card. But we have to take... We have to take the Ritual here. No argument in the universe. I must. We accept the Self-Mutilation here. And the loss of the Collector. It is the cost of doing business. Cool, we're good. I need to click the Umber Stone too. I think so. Ooh, we're taking it. This is going to be the worst combat for us, yeah? For sure. Getting slowed down real hard here. We see the Ritual. Is it Ritual in front for an extra swing? No, it's Ritual in back here. And we get rid of the Mutilations. It's a shame drawing the other one here. We're going to take 53 here, thanks to Self-Mutilate, the stupid Heaven Seal. Okay, I mean, we're getting it done, right? Look at this. We're finally killing the Gilded Wings. It's tough, dog. Oh, man, we kill a curse, dude. Unbelievable. I don't know. We're in kind of bad situation, taking a lot of damage, but I think we're going to chill. Curse, curse, I suppose we will. 
we'll get through the Gilded Wing. I think we're doing enough damage to clear the floor. I may as well play the Strain Steward out, see what we draw. I'll take the Ritual here, genuinely. You think I won't, I will. That helps a lot. Okay, so I mean, I think we're okay. It's not pretty. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna do enough damage now. We took... What does that work out to? I believe this works out to two hits. I took 20 damage as a result of the Heaven Seal, right? Think about that. I took 20 damage because of Heaven Seal. And there's a reason for that, right? Because I had done 81 to that middle dude, which would have put him at 109, which was three hits. He walked up and did five hits. So I took an extra 20 for the trial, and we also just kind of ate it because purifiers put me in the ground. So... There's that. 71 damage taken in that combat. You know, we kind of expected it. Perils of production. A little late, friend. A little late. How weird. Maybe I shouldn't have changed Perils of Production's rarity. Maybe it's better as a common. It's really tricky. I'm going to look at the logbook. I put... What did I put? I put the Ember Cache down there. And I really do like Ember Cache down there. But I think Perils is maybe better in that pool, right? So you see Perils, you can grab it. Huh, might revert that now that I'm playing with it. Kindle? I mean, Kindle makes for a really good Prismal Dust, but we're not leaning into the big Prismal Dust play. We just get the big damage shield early, so I don't think that matters. We're going to skip this. Take my money. Pyre Chomper. It does make the Transcendent usable. Kind of. Kind of. I mean, you take Pyre Chomper because you have Unbroken Horn. There's no reason you wouldn't. He isn't too good of a card. He's just a, a three burst. I go for removals because I still would like to see a multi-strike in this universe. I swear to God, if you are a large stone, if this is a large stone, I'm going to table flip. <laughs> Oh my god, a multi-strike. We've done it. Unbelievable. That is the most cursed, most unbelievably bad. Wow, that's just so awful. Give me a purge, please. Yo, purge, sick. Take out another plink, please. Great news. I'm going to grab this minus two into Prismal Dust. This gives me a lot of power on turn one into Divinity and Patient. We love that. And I'm going to look at this Trinket Shop real quick. Sinner Salve. A little late, bud. Worn Grindstone, Jack Strips. I'm going to flip it, see what we see. Scorching Restraints. That's low value, but it's at least something, I suppose. Take my removals, we're cutting. Hmm. Train stewards are hard to play and annoying. They get harvested, they rally, they might bait Seraph. They do consume, theoretically. Torches are pretty rough here. Probably gonna cut one of these planks. The one that's not purging, obviously. And then I think, actually, Torch is worse. Well, I don't know, I like torch maybe more than train steward here torch is pretty bad i'm gonna cut the torch actually i'm looking at this dupe i'm also looking at this important work not feeling good about that pick just going to be honest with you about that one what in the world do you dupe here anything another ritual <laughs> actually probably just another ritual and i'm gonna buy two room i'm gonna buy a bunch of removals actually i think that is super correct we leave the train stewards in i genuinely think they're not the worst card here torches are not bad though i at five damage i could theoretically chunk through like a, a conduit redirector with three of these or two of them actually eh, three of them they have spell shield right yeah so with that in mind, they're not terrible. I'm going to cut a train steward here. These are real close cuts, by the way. 
What if you just cut this important work? What if I bought this holdover and I just sell this card? This card is even worse than a torch to me, right? I'm not doing a transcendent infusion here. It's weird because you might be able to get away with a transcendent infusion, right? I kind of don't want to find out. The interesting thing about it, though, is you transcend it for a removal, but you also get an endless imp out of it. And you have the Pyre Chomper, so this is not that risky. All right, we're going to actually cut Heart Train Steward. I've gone back and forth on this. I think this is good. I'm going to then actually do the Transcendent Infusion here into Fledgling Imp. Because I need the Endless, I believe. Yeah, it's a weird one, but I think this is good. And we'll be over that threshold on top floor. Because the thing is, is I may not draw the wretch fast enough. This gives me some kind of a scaling option here. Yeah, it's fine. Goodbye, Tia. And then the dupe here, I honestly think I don't dupe anything. Or I dupe another ritual. Right. I mean, Ritual is better than no card here. This card is hard. To, it's hard for me to pass on a Ritual of Battle. Although it might be really good to just grab another Prismal Dust and go to 150 here. But that's... No, it's not that, is it? No, it's... That's that's tricky. I don't know about that, friend. I'm going to take the, the Ritual here. It's a fine dupe. Have another one of these. I can't afford anything else in any way that matters. So we chill and we move on at 135 shards. Okay, let's go patient. It's interesting because I actually think we're pretty well suited for this combat thanks to that intrinsic on the Prismal Dust. Yeah, like see you draw the wretch here and you immediately go, dang, well I guess I'm not getting any value out of that, huh? And you're right. You're absolutely right play this ritual because I need to I'm gonna play the ritual for faster scaling and just take three damage shield here and we're chilling right I mean we can't lose from this position pretty much you play out the plank oh we plank first yeah cool I'm going to play ritual here I think that is a correct what are these units I don't want to mess up the pyre chomper Sure, we're fine. As long as I kill the floor, I don't really care about any of this stuff. I'm gonna plink middle. I'm going to plink middle. This will bait the boss. Great job. Cool. I do finally get Pyre Chomper, which is great news with Umbra Stone, which I guess I can just put in the back because hilarious. Ritual, good card. Ritual, good card. I'm going to Endless Tia downstairs. You may as well, I suppose. I think he goes bottom here. Yeah, because he hasn't activated on that floor, right? So that's actually really good. We do Ritual because we have the Trample. I do play Tia, Tia on middle. I guess I will endless another Tia out. Seems acceptable. It's fine. We're, we're very powerful. We cleave the floors out here. He has to go top. He's going to take like 7 million damage here. We just play the Tia. We ping a man. We bring back a Tia. And what? One, two, three. I mean, he, we can't run down for sure. Uh, but it's fine. I'm going to ping downstairs. No reason not to. We chill. That's a good turn. Our friend Seraph just took... How much damage was that? That's a lot. That's a large number, friend. But now, because we misdrew on the wretch, this is the perfect opportunity why you just kind of keep the rage scaling. It's not terribly fast, but it's something... And I guess we could theoretically kill our dude. I know I did that in the wrong order. It super does not matter. That's a... That's a ridiculously good turn, huh? 
play imp, play imp, play quad ritual. A good use of my ember, huh? It's a good card. Yeah, and so now you you kill this man. We play wretch here. We play primordium instead, and we chill. It does not matter. I mean, this is all just free damage shield here, right? It's chilling. Good job. Go team. He, he stands no chance whatsoever. Cool. Good job. And we line up Divinity in much the same way, which shouldn't be a problem because I have damage shield on turn one. So one of the reasons I like this superfood is that you don't have to RNG into Stalwart Snack, but it's also a much more balanced growth, right? Think about superfood in the base game and then... You never take that when you have no buffs in your start. It's really hard to play. You're kind of just gambling everything. So that was a really good hand, by the way. So yeah, it's just kind of range. I vastly prefer the way this is set up, in my opinion. So um, as long as I hit Trample in this run, we're, we're chilling. Look at this, Pyre Chomper. Literally saves Trample Stone here. Unbelievable. Give me that rage, rage value. Oh, we're, we're chilling from here. We are the cruising, in fact. Just play the card. Don't touch anything else. It's fine. Sure. Doing 600 damage through. We're doing a lot of damage, by the way. This is scaling very rapidly. I will play... Blinkus, give me hit front. You know, you tried, bud. You tried. I'm going to kill this imp off. I'm actually going to important work this imp. Great job. Give me that ritual of battle. I'd love even more rage in top floor. That's very strong, huh? Feeling pretty good about that. Yeah, we actually take a hit here because I chew through too much damage shield unbelievably but i think we're at a stage where we're gonna overflow and win the run so i think we're chilling i am going to prism retrieval because this hits my good imp right and making it free is pretty nice i guess i can important work and hold this over right no reason not to sure yeah that's all my damage shield but i think we win on this turn right we come really close to yeah i mean we actually do it's fine Seems good. Seems good. Cool. Bonk. Excellent news. Uh, this is straightforward. Straightforward. But we still, I mean, we had a rough one with those shops. It was just quick and large stone and everything. Uh, the imp served a decent purpose on patient but i don't think i needed it it was really i took it for a removal genuinely getting one more unit out of the deck and then doing so in a useful way is nice uh, i'm going to use the run summary let's talk this over okay so this is a fun run because we had an idea i straight pivoted off of it and i think it was a great choice to do so the like I said, the Transcendent Infusion here was purely a removal in a useful way. It's 25 shards I was happy to play because this also gives me something to do once my Primordium's gone, assuming a bad draw order. And I had so many cards in my deck that a bad draw order is pretty likely. The biggest hit here is definitely the Prismal Dust with that Intrinsic and the minus two. This is a lot of value because you saw in the Divinity, it eventually chunked out, but because we were doing so much damage with the Trample, we're chilling, right? We're, we have no concern whatsoever off the back of that. So that's pretty good. Other things of import here. Pyre Chomper is always nice. Important work? I don't know. I called a shot here, and then we didn't go that direction. And honestly, it's okay, because the way we went was much stronger. But still, still, it's tough. I think doing things like this can be good. It's interesting, because it's similar to the way I normally play imps, right? If I have any kind of an imp and any hope of an imp line if they show me an early endless i'm liable to put endless into basically any imp i have as a storage just in case they show me a good infusion later where i can take advantage of it things like a rage imp or something so it's a good opportunity to kind of think about 
planning for your late game, as long as it doesn't kill you, right? I, I mean, look at this way. I took this holdover. I didn't end up getting enough money to really do a lot of things in this run. We had way too many cards. I barely removed things by the end there. I was relying on purge stones out of temples, honestly. And this important work was dead, basically, for most of the run. Right? I mean, I, I think I got some use out of it here or there, either as a draw card, a card that replaces itself, or as a few few time plays on patient or something. In a way, I really didn't need it. Right? It was kind of whatever. It does not matter. So, interesting. Interesting. But it could have been an important element of my run. And it just wasn't. So, that's fine. Otherwise, it turns out Umberstone's a good card. I think I have convinced myself I want to revert the change to Perils of Production. I'm probably going to leave Ember Cash with the buff. I do like the way that card plays a lot with the change. The 5 damage is really nice here since it consumes. It's a good card to just kind of send right there. I enjoy that a lot. It makes it feel like it does something right away. I think I am just going to flip the rarities back, and I'm going to be okay with that. So, cool. That's good. Getting that learn on. And what is it? Crucible Warden did fine early. I think he didn't. That plus one is not very impactful. I think it needs to be a plus two. Plus one was me being scared when I implemented this, right? You look at this and I go, oh, no. Is that too strong? No, of course not. This is fine. You just give him a plus two, man. He barely scales as is. Giving him some kind of scaling like that, value. So I'm going to do that change too. I think that's fine. So cool. All right. Well, I think that's everything I've got for you. That brings us up to a six win streak. Feels good. Just crossed the hour mark, which means I do get to record another, which is very exciting. So awesome. All right. Well, hey, that's all I've got for you. Thanks a lot for watching this. I do really appreciate your time. As always, you can give the video a like or a dislike if you want. It's fine. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and stay tuned for what's next. Take care, folks.